Hello, Warlords! Welcome to Saga Thursday, your regular source for Saga, the miniatures game content. I am Raj, your weekly friendly horn dog, guiding you on this journey. And today we're going to talk about Saga Dice. Now, these are one of the best things about Saga, in my opinion. It's quite distinctive. When you are uh, seeing a game for the first time, you're like, what is with these dice that you guys are rolling and those are cool I've never seen anything like that and um, I think they are one of the best things and so much so that I think I've told my buddies that <laughs> you know sometimes you don't always have the right dice for the war band but I think I said that I wouldn't play them unless they had the right dice or uh, you know actual dice not rolling like one two threes four fives and sixes because uh, you could just use regular dice if you wanted. Um, you don't need the Saga dice, but um, if I was running an event, I would say, yes, you must have the Saga dice for your faction. You can't use regular dice. Not that I've really seen that, but I would come down on that line if necessary. So these are the uh, some official Saga dice for the Welsh and Strathclyde Welsh war bands, some other ones. I know for sure use these babies and uh, these were these aren't actually mine they were given to me by gripping beast and we're gonna give these away at some point not yet but uh, we'll, we'll get into the details of that but they were kind enough to give me some Welsh dice so these are the official ones and it's, it's kind of interesting because I like the dice a lot but then you're stuck with, if you're just going to use the official ones, they have certain colors, they uh, are you know, always that color. There isn't any other versions of these dice. If you're going to get them, they're yellow and red. So, um, you know, I come from Warhammer, whatever, other games where you can actually get dice to match your army. So I always liked doing that and was a little frustrated at first that there weren't a lot of dice options out there. So we're going to talk about the various options that you have as a Saga player and how you can uh, customize your dice, do some, some cool stuff, get some different colors going, or if you're in a pinch, what you can do. So the easiest thing to do, which um, I'm sure you may have been there, where you, you just want to use your models as is, but you want to try out a new battle board or something like that. Um, but you can actually just draw on regular blocks of wood. So here's an example of that. And these are my first ones that I had. Um, depending on your faction, some of the symbols are easier than the others, but you can actually draw on with a pen. You could paint it on. Um, those are two of the easiest things you can do. Some quick and dirty dice for you. Um, so you're participating you got the right dice to match up to your board there isn't like an extra level of uh, sophistication if you're using just like normal d6s where you have to translate everything into the right uh, commons uncommons rare category so these this one is the, the easiest way to go now uh, this was the first ones that I made these are the, my Anglo Dane dice and actually back in the day did a blog post about these so these ones are actually printed on photo paper. So it's not just regular paper, but something a little thicker, a little glossier. And then I went back and I think I varnished it even. So I just you know did some Photoshop, made the designs, print them out. And actually, I think I used craft glue. I don't know, there wasn't any special glue, maybe super glue, just the glue, I don't know. What special glue it was but um, I cut them out and put them on to just a blank black d6 that you can get off eBay um, for all my various projects I get dice off there so these are just some blank dice and I got some black and white Anglo Danish dice um, at my disposal and I have to say uh, the photo paper is just glued on there I probably played 30 40 games with these and they're getting a little dinged up a little bit of the paper shown through getting a little worn but uh, they work just as good and there hasn't been a time when any of the sides have uh, just 
split off or anything like that. So they're fully intact, fully usable. I did make an extra dice or two just in case that were to happen, but I've never, never needed them. So that is one way to do it. And then my uh, upcoming Saracen dice that I put together actually make it a little bit easier. So I just printed out the symbols which you can get the symbols off the gripping, not the gripping base, the Studio Tomahawk website. You can get the official symbols off there, so that'll make your Photoshop efforts a little easier. I didn't know that at first, so I actually had to scan and then redo them. So I just printed them off on like clear sticker paper, and then uh, these dice, these are actually meant for like game design, and you can see they kind of an indentation, a square on them and they can they're just meant for applying your own stickers on there making your custom dice so that made it a little bit easier so you know when you roll these that actually won't contact the sticker surface so you know they're going to last a little longer so um since i did it on sticker i didn't have to mess around with glue or anything like that and um, since it was clear i could uh, you know see through to the original color of the die so i think these are going to turn out pretty good i'm really happy with these now, if you have a buddy or a contact who has a fancy laser cutter, which more and more people are getting those nowadays, you can actually have them uh, do some custom Saga dice for you. So these ones right here, these are my Welsh dice. And these were my black blank dice, which I think I got like a... 20 pack or something for pretty cheap off eBay. So half of them I use for the Danes. And then the other half I gave to Bear, my buddy who has a laser cutter and he made a little template. I made him, um, these designs were slightly different. Um, I wanted to do, you know, something, something a little cooler, a little customized. But um, so these Welsh dice, he just burned onto these black blank dice. And you can see they turned out pretty good. They're kind of, they're not super bright. The, the laser just kind of etches the, the faintest detail into it. So if you were to feel it, it it's feels pretty smooth. It hasn't burnt in or anything like that. Um, the way that uh, you know the, the real Saga dice are textured, you can kind of feel in there. So the, and there were some inconsistent colors, but overall it's pretty good. You can uh, definitely um, do that and then after that I actually had him um, you know we, we tried some other dice trying to get some different colors but uh, we just went back to the wood blocks that we got off eBay so I had him burn into this so the laser which is really meant for uh, burning more into wood I would say uh, actually was able to do a nice 3d surface and I got some sweet Continental dice here, and these babies are good. I'm gonna be using these for my Byzantines. Um, so those turned out great, so that's another option. And then, um, as far as dice goes, you know, you can match them to your army. Uh, another fun thing to do is to kind of get into the saga theme of things, so you can make them uh, kind of antique looking. So, first up, these are my Viking dice, which my buddy Andrew, he had that Viking army. He, these were uh, made by him for that. I think I just gave him some cubes to use and he actually carved in to these wooden blocks and carved the runic symbols in there and then went back and painted it and um, you know, hit it with some, some lacquer or what have you. So these, these ones are really cool. Um, you know, they kind of look like they could be something from, uh, you know, the Viking era. So these are fun, fun to use. Uh, he's got some matching sticks that go along with it that look like, you know, they could be some weird Viking age sticks for uh, a true Dark Ages game of Saga. So these, these are cool. These are fun. And then uh, my uh, Roman style dice I made uh, just recently. So they were, um, I had them burned on my, my buddy's laser cutter. And then I went back and uh, painted them up and did some weathering to make them look like old copper, like Roman dice. So these are pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to use these. Um, they just look 
really fun the way that they turned out. So I'm really happy with that. I used the GW, whatever, the Nikolai Oxide and uh, some copper paints to go back and do these. So I'm really excited with how, how these turned out. Can't wait to do them. So those are the various Saga dice that I have made. And I'll be curious. I know every once in a while this will come up on the Saga Dark Ages Facebook group. Everybody will post about all the different dice that they've made. So if you've made your own Saga dice, please post below. Let me know how you did that, how they turned out. Now, um, if you are looking for a custom Saga dice, um, I can definitely uh, help, help you out with that um, in getting some, some fun laser burned or uh, you know just different colored, uh, I don't know what kind of dice here, acrylic dice. Um, we can definitely work something out. Maybe <laughs> it's pretty fun to make these. I might even be willing to make um, uh, some, some fancy tarnish ones perhaps as well for you. Uh, if we could come to the right price perhaps. but. Yeah, post below what, what you think of the Saga dice, what you use, and uh, some other workarounds perhaps. But I think <laughs> that was pretty fun going through. I think that's going to do it for this week. If you like, please subscribe, share with a buddy, and uh, we'll spread that Saga word. Until next time, I am the Raj, and I'm going to see you guys next Thursday. Saga! <laughs>